It is so cool to see stories like this from Luke, who went from not even being able to filter in Excel to now building dynamic dashboards. And I think this is really doable for almost any Excel user, because it's mostly leveraging skills you already have, just applying them in a new creative way. So I want to walk you through what I think is the easiest way to go from not even being able to filter to being able to build dynamic dashboards. So here's the basic premise. Start by understanding just the basic principles of dashboard building in Excel. I've got a bunch of short videos on my profile about this. You can scroll through, you'll get up to speed in like 10 to 20 minutes. You're not necessarily going to be able to start building yet, but you're going to understand the concepts, which are going to allow you to learn everything afterwards. Next, get your hands on some sample files. You can just Google free Excel dashboard templates if you want, or I have a whole newsletter that I put together where I send out free templates each week to get you up to speed just for this purpose. It's on my profile if you want those. Next, watch the tutorial playlist that I have on my profile where I go through start to finish how I build stuff like the dashboards you see here behind me. It's going to help you figure out where the holes in your knowledge are, and that's going to make this next step a lot easier. Now you're ready to actually look at those sample files, drill into them, look at each little piece, look at how all of the formatting's done for each segment, look at how the charts are formatted, just pull the whole thing apart. Having a sample file is going to get you up to speed way faster than just trying to do it from scratch. Once you've done all that, you're going to have the core skills to start building a dynamic dashboard. But if you're worried about the visual design side of things, I highly suggest that people just go out, find some cool examples of dashboards you like and reports you like, and try recreating them yourself. You'll get up to speed a lot faster that way. I really think with like a couple weeks of focused effort, almost anyone can get up to speed. You're going to be able to use visual design to your advantage, make stuff that's more engaging and communicates more effectively with your data. Anyway, I hope that helps everyone. Have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I'll be back soon with more.